Good morning, uh, YouTube, and good morning, Spin community. It's been quite a long week, uh, the last week, hasn't it? Anyway, what I want to try and do um, in uh, this particular episode, shall we call it, is to look at some, I guess, little bits of EDC, I suppose. Well, more trinkets uh, and little bits and bobs. And then I'd also like to look at the um, mini Oculus spinner that uh, Joshua sent to me, uh, Joshua Young from Spinetic, uh, which is the blasted version. I'd like to look at the finish on that and see what you think. And I also have the worry coin from Random Fabrications that came through to me, um, which I want to talk a little bit about as well. And I'm also going to um, unbox, um, as it were, uh, the um, Damned Designs drop. Um, which is slightly different to the one that I already have. So I'm going to have a look at that. Um, okay, uh, as you know, though I didn't mention it, uh, I'm Idle Spin, and you can find me and some brilliant people over on Reddit who um, have just been fantastic um, over the last week. And I do need to pay tribute to um, all the participants, contributors over at Reddit, and particularly um, the moderators there um, for the way that we've we've worked together this week. Okay, what should we start with? Well, we'll start by getting this thing out of the way, I think. Thank you, by the way, for sending me that. It's very good of you. Um, I purchased something from uh, a lady um, in um, Sweden, and um, I'm a little bit of a Lovecraft uh, fan, a little bit of one. Um, and I'm, I've also got one for my wife, who I'm not sure whether Mrs. Idlespin is going to like this, and it's a little tentacle. Now, the thing with this is, okay, it's been hand-forged by a um, lovely lady called Hannah Gutka. Would it be Gutka? I think it might be. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry about that pronunciation if it's wrong. And I'm hoping that the camera's picking this up, but it's a little tentacle and you can see that from what I can gather each one of these little suckers is hand forged and handmade and it looks like the steel has been folded and etched and indeed it has been folded and etched apparently up until around about the year 2000 in Sweden the uh, primary method of making steel was something called the Lancashire method now, this steel that I'm holding in my hands comes from the county of Lancashire in the United Kingdom, of which I am a part. And it's about, a, I think it's about 100 years old. And it was sent to Hannah. And she decided that what she would do with it is she would forge it and fold it in the manner you might with the Damascus steel and etch it. And that's the result. And so, as I said, I bought two. But what's more amazing is that Apparently, for some ridiculous reason, she seems to think it's a good idea to close her Etsy shop. I don't know why. And I don't know how she nailed this. But she sent me this. And it, it just arrived. And I thought, I wasn't born in 2000. Oh, wow! And that was genuinely a hair standing on her end moment. Um, this is just mad cool! Obviously, handmade, 2001 tribute. I just love it thank you um hannah thank you so much um and hannah's shop um can be found over on etsy while it's still there um and i only mentioned that because it's fantastic when we're on the subject of etsy by the way the artwork that you can see in front of you is by a guy called john turner who's from manchester in the united kingdom he does badges stickers and he does some some great uh, he did that for me um he does some great um artwork um and it's it's very moody it's very uh nevermore from reddit i think um it's dark hamlet-esque and i've got quite a few of his, his pieces hanging around the house um, and I just thought I'd slip one on here and just show the opportunity to show it off. Just love it. Um, so there we go. Okay. Um, let's, let's start cutting to the chase. Can we now, I think a little bit? Yeah. Oh, one last thing. 
you may or may not have remembered that I was moaning and complaining about, and I'd hope there's enough light for you to see these, these, these buttons, um, which um, are by YEC Works. And they're amazing, an amazing maze, because it's a real life three dimensional maze inside a button. They do have some on offer at the moment, which are flamed titanium, I think, or black and titanium. They're a limited edition run. But what I wasn't warned about was that the little artificial rubies, and I use that in big double inverted commas in there, um, will fall out pretty much as soon as you unscrew these buttons because they drop out through the set screw, which is a potential cool thing because it means, you can see I've got one little ball in there and I've got three in there. And it means that they will move around. <laughs> yeah, not on cue though. And you can play a little maze game with them if you want and drop them through the center to the other half, which I really, really quite enjoy. Nice little button spin. Here they are on the Iho. Iho. Ica. 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 Sounds a bit skulls, that doesn't it, like me? I'm going down Ica for, for a couple of days like that. I'll see you later, lad. All right, mate. Yeah, no worries. Um, this is the damn design spinner, and it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant spinner. He did a drop of these uh, at the weekend um, in the Classic Metals again. I don't know how many he's got left. I wouldn't have thought he's got very many left. And it is a very, very good spinner. And they kind of work on this very, very well. So the story is, after a period of, well, these buttons languishing on the side of the um, sort of, I don't know, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say floor then, I don't know what I was going to say, shelf, I contacted YEC over the last few months, desperately trying to, can you send me some more balls? Can you send me the balls? Show me your balls. I didn't actually say that. It's a lovely chap, by the way, called Lin May, Lin Ma. Uh, Lin, it's definitely Lin, um, I think. Again, pronunciation is is very dodgy. So um, he was in, in constant contact with me, but the balls didn't materialise. I never got to see the boys' balls. In the present climate, that's probably not a good expression. I'll move on from that. So, I said, how big are they uh, to Lynn? And he you know, stumbled around a little bit. He said, 0 0.8 millimetres. But I found some balls in the UK. I did. And I've been looking in the wrong place all this time. I've been breaking bearings up, taking the ceramic things in, forcing them in, nothing working. Couldn't get anything inside the damn maze. Well, I went and had a conversation with a lovely lady. Where's she gone? Well, that's not her. A lovely lady called Gina from the Precision Ball Company Limited, who are in Yorkshire, okay, and they're easy to find on the internet, and they, for 30 years, have been making precision balls. These are cellulose acetate. Not only are they moulded, but they are tumbled, and you just would not have thought it possible to be so precise, and they are one millimetre. And... Gina very kindly sent me eight of these for free, just as a sample, which was a wonderful gesture. She really didn't need to. By the way, my voice is sounding a bit ropey. It's because I've just had sinusitis for a week. And I didn't get any antibiotics, and I'm I'm still suffering from it. Uh, so um, I'm out later on, um, so I can't wait for that. Right, so they sent me those. And they inserted into here superbly, and there they are. And the newer version of this button is going to have a metal, a metal board. But these magenta ones are an incredible match for the original rubies, which weren't actually red. If you pop on over to Reddit, you will see a couple, well, it's one reasonable macro shot. That's all, and you can see the balls close up there. Lots of dust and stuff like that. It's a nice little combination. Very pleased with that. Excuse me, I'm going to need to cough. <coughs> okay. Um, the next thing was going to be an unboxing. It was going to be my first unboxing, but I just, I just, I, I said to Purple Pirate Crab on Reddit, I said, I'm, I'm going to save this as an unboxing. Well, it didn't happen because I couldn't resist because it was a spinetic box. Look at that box. Yeah. We're going to talk about boxes again. Incidentally, I, 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 you, if you are on Reddit, you're going to know that that box, the Unquiet Hands box, morphed. It became this. Okay, this was my son's entry, 
okay, in the World Book Day competition for 2019. And it is, of course, the monolith from uh, 2001 A Spud Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, now, the way that he did this was he spray painted um, the, the monolith, the potato, and it is a potato, it's not artificial. Um, artificial potatoes, I wonder what you do with those. And then we, he, sorry, um, popped on the, the moon rocks and the little chap there. Unfortunately, not quite the right colour on the old space suit, but we can't, you know, we can't have everything. Um, and then uh, he, <laughs> he said we then, he painted the unquiet hand box, which still remains like that underneath, um, to resemble the surface of the moon. And you know, it won first prize. So thank you, Tom Lane. Got it right this time, I hope. And uh, thank you to the school for recognising my incredible, uh, my son's incredible natural thinking and genius there. Thank you. Now, you always got a good box with spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti spinners. Yeah, he's uh, flipping around all the time. It's uh, difficult for me. Um, so, spaghetti. Sorry about that, George. Um, and uh, the reason I've got the spaghetti box is because I wanted to order something from Random Fabrications. And I did it all wrong, apparently. I got this email from, could have been Spinetic, or a, a rather affronted member of the Spinetic team. Dear sir, it said, well, not quite that formally, but it said something along the lines of, if you are going to use our service, please let us know in advance and give us a hint as to what might be being sent, being sent um, so we can kind of help you choose the weight rather than you just going in and go, yeah, I'll just call four ounces. So, um, anyway, yeah, but we, 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 we sorted that out. It was my error, completely my error. They were lovely, and they are lovely, and the service is brilliant. If you order something from Random Fabrications, you're looking at 33 US dollars to get that over to the UK. You're looking at half that price, at least with um, Spinatic and Global Logistics. I would not have what I have here today if it was not for Spinatic. A fantastic service. Okay? So, that's the box, and it comes... You, you, You've all seen it with the card. Superb. So, what was the first item in there? Da 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 da. Yeah. Now, Aaron Carroll's been banging on about this, hasn't he, on the weekly spin? This worry coin from Random Fabrications. And it arrived. I'll show you how it arrived because this is really, you know, that's how it's arrived. And I'm like, you know. Was the uh, was the box for it? Right, you only get a grey rave in a box. You don't get that. Was the uh, was the cleaning cloth on quite hands cleaning cloth? You're not gonna. Is it? Well, I like the pouch. You know, they're not gonna. It's not a card. C O A. Authenticity. You know, nothing like that. Was it? You see, I'll be the first to say you don't need these things. But actually, when they're not there, you kind of like. Well, where's the? Where's it? Where, come on, there must be a sticker in there. You you put a random fabrication sticky out, have you? There's no sticker. Yeah. Fortunately, I didn't review this out of the box because if I had, I'd have picked it up and gone, oh, some of a chunky monkey, this, isn't it? Oh, I'm not sure. Prefer the titanium one. Oh, and me, me coin that's fallen down the back of the bed that I can't get hold of because it's stuck and I can't get me fat hand underneath. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, actually. Actually, it's bloody brilliant. It really, really is good. This just feels great. It's like you've got the steps, the spot on height. My fat thumbs. Go to the other side, you really feel you can work, you know, into that sort of thing. And my my son got hold of it, uh, the chap who's nine years old, and he seemed to have some sort of sticky residue on his hands. <laughs> I assumed that that was the uh, residue of Harry Bow and chocolate. So I had to give it a polish. And I gave it a little bit of a polish with some steel polish, and wow, has it come out so smooth. And this has the, all the potential of lasting a long, 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 long time. It's going to take dings. It's going to take bings. The price was decent. Okay, you just get the pouch. That doesn't really matter. This is cool. And the size is actually great. The other cool thing you can do with this, and I like this, is you can't spin it. But what you can do is just centre your thumb there and flick it round. Just using the groove at the top there. It's like the sort of pivotal axis point and around and around. Why am I doing it off the camera, you fool? Why do I keep doing that voice? I don't know. Still, we managed to avoid the other one, Hobby Timming. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's on copper, eh? So, uh, here it is. 
and it's it's good. Aaron, you're right. It's a little belter. It really is. These are on EU Random Fabrications website at the moment in some um, in some exotic metals. I am not going to go for it. I want to use this and to an extent, you know, just hammer this around a little bit. I don't want to be carrying a piece of zirconium in my pocket. I'm quite happy with that. I and I I dig the weight. And this weight thing is starting to creep up on me. I'm normally things that I like lightweight. Yeah, I'm looking at some spinners now and thinking, yeah, it's, you know, anyway, that's another story for another review. Right, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, so that came through. I'm really, really pleased with that. And it's very cool. And I, I hope it's picked up okay on the camera for you. Uh, so, silly sausage focus machine thing. Okay, great. Um, now, let's have a quick look at the mini Oculus. Now, I... I was pleased to see this did come in its tin. I'm very familiar with the Mini Oculus. Uh, Raja Ionic sent me some um, well, months and months ago. I ended up giving giving them away uh, on Reddit as as parts of prizes and stuff like that. And I can't find my 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 Oculuses, my Oculi. Um, they're somewhere. I hope I haven't given them away, so I haven't got the original in the original polished finish to be able to compare, which I'm a bit miffed about. But Nice tin. That's so old school, isn't it? Yeah, let's get into that. And then what inside, you're going to get a little bit of a surprise. Because if you're used to handling this, this what was already a great spinner, you're going to get a bit of a shock. Now, he has, Joshua, done an absolutely fantastic job of blasting this. Let's just disassemble. Has he got, has he got the ring? He even looks like he might have done something with the retaining ring maybe certainly a slightly different color to blend in you can see that the blasting if you can oh gosh i hope there's enough light for you it's perfect all the way around all the way through even the bits where it could miss and you've also got the same perfection on the buttons now this was always a great spinner Always kind of like I looked at this and thought, hmm, I wonder where that Mr. Pose got his idea from for that uh, bar. It spins as it always has done, superbly. It isn't a fingerprint magnet anymore, and it's a little bit grippier. It's a lot more grippier, and it spins better because of it. Here's the thing, and it's going to be a personal thing. If you like blasted finishes, you're going to love this. If you don't like blasted finishes, you may still love this. But if you... Stating the blind in the obvious here. But if you don't like blasted finishes... Now, hold on. I've lost myself completely here. What I'm trying to say, it, it, it's a kind of a different feel. It's a bit gritty. And I know when Conceptual Designs released... Stay there. I know when Conceptual Designs released this spinner. Okay, not the Amaryllis. The other one. It's gone. I was not enamoured with the blast finish. This is titanium blasted with some Damascus buttons. And um, I, I was never, a little bit loose, I think I was, I was never, it was like a sort of a, it's grown on me, but it was never really, and this has that same texture. It's, it's, it's not like an acid wash. It doesn't have that same feel to it. It definitely has that blasted feel. I don't know how fragile that, that blast is going to be. I don't know how long the longevity is. But it feels good, but it might take a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to it. That's what I'm basically trying to say badly. Okay. Um, funnily enough, when I received the same spinner from Conceptual Design in polished titanium. Um, I think this is polished titanium or is it stainless steel? Oh, God. It's <laughs> Martin. Will might be, what's this, Hal say something about his mind going? I don't know. Um, when I got this, uh, I kind of like, oh, mm, brushed. Still, mm, I want a brushed one. Um, I'm not sure about the polish on that. Mm, that's a light bit. Mm, ooh. Oh, something needs sort in there, I think. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10 for the work on that. Uh, it's just outstanding. And if you like the Oculus, which, frankly, you know, you should, um, 
and you like this type of finish, you are going to love it. And it has breathed new life into an old favourite. So, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, just one thing I, I want to oh, know. I, I was going to worry the, um, the worry coin. Just curious. Let me just save this. I'll do this. Uh... Okay, 65.8. Okay, it's interesting, 65.8. Now, curiosity again. Oh, let's have a little look. 57.9. And, um, oh, good one. What's this one? So the worry coins kind of come in as the heaviest there, but, you know, it's, it's got a bit of beef to it, man. Okay, we're going to do our first ever live unboxing. Not looked into this. Let's turn that off. Can't spend too long on it. Here we have a rather nice knife, which is not going to one hand open. Yes, it is just, um, it's a skull jar. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, it's, it, it's a guy called Laurent made these. And they are titanium sculpted titanium bolsters, which have been anodized or flamed. You've got a mother of pearl handle. You've got a... Um, I think it's a steel liner in there. Um, the lock's quite far over, um, but that's the only thing that I could probably complain about. Everything else is extremely solid, um, and it's extremely well made. It's a, a beautiful knife. <coughs> a great gentleman's folder. Um, one which you could, you know, easily carry with pride and hand down. Uh, right hand open, um, no clip. Um, but great. Unfortunately, of course, with it locking, not legal in the UK. But in my next video, excuse me, Stephen, in my next video, I am going to review a Benchmade proper um, limited edition, which has been sitting up there. And there will be another knife with it as well. So I'm going to do my first knife review, which is why I'm introducing this chap here. Okay, let's uh, let's crack this open. Let's make it look good. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's not an access lock, is it? So, okay, how do we get into this? Oh, well, we get into it without cutting ourselves. Look at that, like a razor, like a razor. What is inside? What is inside? Okay, let's see, let's pull this back in, just in case sensitive information. You know, nothing sensitive there. Uh, dear Paul, please find the enclosed $35 and free spinners, um, which you are free to use for the rest of your life, free of charge. Many thanks, Adrian. I don't know how he's fitted them all in there. There's just not really in there like that. Oh, wow, yeah. Hey, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay, that is in uh, aqua. Now, this is aluminium, and it's obviously a drop. And, oh. No, let's do it this way. Okay. Well, I like the box. Second one of these I've got. If I stand up and get the other one, which I can see from where I am, this camera's going to shake because I've got a wooden floor and it moves around a lot. Okay, you've got your little lanyard hole. Immediately, that is really, really smooth. I have to say, it's a completely different sort of tactile sensation to the, the random fabrications coin. Uh, and I can see in the light, I don't know whether you can, you probably can. It's just got this like glisten to it. That's a lovely finish, you know, that really does look good. Cool logo um, and step section. Again, Adrian did this really well. Oh, yeah, that is really nice. Okay, yeah. I'm not critical of the drop. I would have liked to have seen the spinning section retained, and I believe that's something that's possibly going to come back, along with some cracking stuff. Both Adrian and Tom Lanay have got coming from their respective companies. Um, oh, yeah, and check out that jaunt sub um, that's coming out. Um, wow. Oh, I'm just blown away by that, but that's something else. Um, this is light, is cool, and I... It's, it's a perfect foil. Now, when you consider um, that he was practically giving these away for $10... It's just a no-brainer, and you can pretty much do everything you can do with that Ori coin. I, uh, I this to be a lovely gift for somebody. 
Um, and I'm, I'm thinking my wife, um, but she doesn't really appreciate anything like that, but uh, that's really nice. And there's a kind of a, with the anodizing, there's a kind of a warmth there on the field that is not there on the coins, a little bit colder. And that might be a good or a bad thing, depending on, you know, where you are and how you're feeling. And that's got a, a nice, smooth, rotational quality to it. You could spend all day with that. So well done. Probably a little late with this review for this, I would imagine. You know, Adrian would have probably preferred me to have to have reviewed it earlier, I guess. Um, but I didn't. But it is nice to see that, you know, we have very, very similar design ethics and, and the way this has been done. And this is obviously very, very, very popular in the way to go, the steps and the smooth edge, which is cool. Um, I'm really excited about getting the Tide from um, Spinatic um, because I think that is going to be just amazing. It's going to give you everything, plus the ability to spin and do that haptic, haptic coin thing. So that's cool. So everything on the table um, has been a winner. Uh, you know how we do it on this channel. It's either a... Uh, uh, and it's not all that. Uh, sorry about that, I couldn't resist. Um, no, it's it's either I'm either going to tell you that it's a bag of cack or it's um, it, 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 it's it's good. And everything's been good. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have anything to complain about other than where are my stickers? Okay. Um... Just to say thank you to everybody again for everything this week and all the support that everyone um, on Reddit has, has given each other. Um, and I'll be back very soon, hopefully this week, with another review. It'll be a Benchmade and there's one or two other little bits coming in the post and I'll I'll try and work them in wherever possible. Um, do just want to try and get some more EDC stuff in. Um, okay, have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. Bye-bye.